Friends, Susan and I are happy once again to bring you Christmas greetings. As I read the Christmas story, I'm always taken by the way in which we portray the innkeeper as the one who said to Mary and Joseph, no room here. When in fact, he did provide them a warm and a safe place for the birth of the Holy Child. Yes, it was a manger, but for them it was a warm place and a safe place. As we know, within weeks of his birth, Jesus himself became a refugee. Mary and Joseph were fleeing from the tyranny of Herod. They took the child into Egypt, and there they remained for a time. And when it was safe for them to return, they made that journey back. And so the scripture was fulfilled. Out of Egypt, I've called my son. And so began the gospel of Jesus the Christ. As we celebrate his birth, we are mindful, so mindful this year of the migrant refugee crisis and our need in his name to respond, to open our hearts and our country to those seeking refuge among us. The ELCIC and National Convention this summer adopted a reformation challenge. One of the goals of that challenge is to sponsor 500 refugees in the next two years. It's an ambitious goal, and I'd like to invite you to participate in that. At this time of Christmas, why not give an extra gift in recognition of the gift that we have been given through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to support the refugee appeal, support another charity that's working with refugees. Let us be like the innkeepers who did provide a warm and safe place for someone who was in need. And so we want to wish you a blessed, blessed Christmas, Christmas and, and a, a peaceful, peaceful New Year. year.